It's time. Greetings apprentices, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Arlen and today I'm gonna be going over all of the books that I've read so far this year. I can finally put these down. I didn't really have to hold them that whole time, but anyway. What's that? I have not done a single wrap up video this entire year. So I just decided let's do the ultimate one. Their ratings, what I thought of them, if you should read them, all that stuff. I have only read Let's see. Wow, that's even less than I thought. A whole whopping 16 books this year. That's not even a bad number in general, but for me, it's hard not to compare yourself to the people on YouTube who are reading 16 books per month. Also, if you wanna follow me on Goodreads, I literally post a review, a rating, and all that stuff on every single book I read. Link is in the description. The first book that I wanna talk about is a book that I read in January. It was the first book I read this year. I literally stayed up till 4 a.m. reading it and I cried. I could not fall asleep that night. And that book is Champion by Marie Lu. This is the third book in the Legend Trilogy and I love that series so much. Each one was a five star, if not a six star, and every book got better as they went on. Okay, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but let's just say probably the best book of my life, maybe. Like I said, I have a review on Goodreads, all that stuff, so follow me. Wow, I gave this book a six star. It, it was probably my favorite book I read this year. I do kind of want to get the fourth book, but I don't know if I want to because I think I heard it's like, I don't know. If you have read Rebel, please tell me in the comments because I really want to know if I should read that or not. The next book that I read this year, which I don't even know if you would consider this a book. I don't know, you tell me, was Hamlet by Shakespeare. I gave it a four stars. Let me show you guys something. What is this? What is that? Let me tell you something. If that was the cover of the book that I read, I would never pick up that book. It was enjoyable, but if I hadn't read a summary before and after I read the book, then I would not have known what was going on at all. And I feel like that's pretty normal for Shakespeare. You just kind of have to get into it, but that was like one of the first Shakespeare books I've ever read or plays, I guess I should say. I don't know. I didn't necessarily love the process of reading it as much as I liked the actual story, if that makes sense. So I liked the story more than the actual well, how it was written, but I also liked how it was written. I don't know. <laughs> it was good. It was just hard to follow. I loved the plot and the characters. You should read it if you haven't yet. The next book that I read was Warcross by Marie Lu. I had mixed feelings on this book, honestly, because I gave this a seven, not a seven star. <laughs> I gave this a 3.75 stars because it was really good. It was really fast paced. It was really entertaining. Like if you just want to get back into reading, it's really fast paced. Like I said, it was definitely lacking some things, which I don't remember exactly what they were right now. There was just some things, especially the second half that I didn't necessarily love, or maybe it was the first half that I didn't, I don't know. I read this like eight months ago, guys. I would recommend reading this, especially because of the second book in the series, Wild Card. This one I actually only finished like a month and a half ago, but we're gonna go out of order here so that I can talk about it. This book was a five star. I loved this book so much. Like I said, it's the second book of the Warcross duology. It was so good. It was this book, but without any flaws. I mean, there was some flaws, but like not really. You know what I'm saying? This was really fast paced. The stakes were high. There were some really good plot twists, the character development, the story development, the pacing and the structure were perfect. They were perfect. I would really recommend reading this book just so you can read this book. I'm not even joking. I would definitely recommend these books. The next book that I read this year was another Shakespeare play and that was A Midsummer Night's Dream. This one I actually gave 4.5 stars because I love the plot. It was really fast paced. It was easier to understand than the first one. I still had to read a summary, don't get me wrong. And something that you can really miss if you're not paying attention is the genius humor that is in Shakespeare's books or I keep saying books, plays. This one was so hilarious. It was so funny. Hamlet I think was a little less funny. Just look at the summary and you'll know why. I really like the characters overall. I would definitely recommend recommend reading this. The next book that I read, I don't have a physical copy of because I got it from the library. That book is Princess Academy. I gave this book a 3.5 stars. I enjoyed reading it, but it wasn't, honestly, it just wasn't anything special. There were some points where I was like, this is super cliche. Like, th this is just cliche. <laughs> 
there wasn't really anything different about it, if that makes sense. It was like a mountain girl goes to like a princess academy and I believe that the academy gets like surrounded or something by like enemies. I don't remember exactly. There was a little bit of romance between like her and her mountain best friend or something. I actually read that when I was at my grandma's house, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't my favorite. The next book that I read was Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy, which is the second book in the Gallagher Girls Academy. For some reason, this series is so entertaining. The books themselves are not even like well written, but they're so entertaining and I don't know why. So I actually liked this one better than the first book and I gave this one a 4.5 stars. It's kind of funny because like if you look at the book, it's not really written well, like I said, and it's just so cliche. It is so cliche. It's basically about this spy school Gallagher Academy for girls where they learn to be spies and stuff. I think it's for girls. Is it for girls? Is it, wait. Yeah, I think it's only for girls, right? Am I missing? Yeah, it's only for girls. That's the whole plot of the book. <laughs> there is this super hot professor or whatever that comes along. I don't even remember guys. It was just so like cliche and hilarious. Basically the main character pretends to be this other girl. She ends up like going on dates with this other guy who doesn't know that she goes to this spy school and then he figures that out later in the book or something and then like there's some tension i don't exactly know it's just so fun <laughs> i really actually want to read the third book which is kind of hilarious if you're into like a fun kind of spy kind of romancy preteen slash teen book gallagher academy so fun. The next book I read was Courtesy of Cupid by Nishay Jones. Let's go with that. Apparently, I'm looking at my Goodreads right now and apparently I gave this a 3.5 stars, which I kind of find that hard to believe because I think I remember being worse than 3.5 stars. It was okay, but honestly, looking back on it, I really did not like it. I was randomly at Walmart one day and for some whatever reason, Walmart has a huge book section. The cover really interested me because I think the cover is actually kind of cute. Basically, this girl, Erin Johnson, on her 13th birthday finds out that she has powers because her dad is Cupid, the god of love. She basically is competing with her other classmate to get like the top grades or something like that and to beat him she basically makes him fall in love with her. I was like, that sounds kind of good. Um, it wasn't. To be fair, it was younger than the books that I usually like to read. It says 10 and up. I didn't really like it. I mean, it, I just was never really fully invested or interested in it, but I made myself finish it because first of all, it's not that long. And I was like, I can't keep starting books and not finishing them. Otherwise, like I'm never gonna reach my Goodreads goal. So I would not recommend this book. We finally have gotten to these books. Next books that I read, the entire natural series. I think I read this entire series in like a week or two. I remember I was on pace of reading like one book every two days, but I think the fourth book took me a little bit longer. The first book was really, really good. I was scared at the beginning that I wasn't gonna like the main character, Cassie, because I don't know, I just thought she was annoying, but very quickly I found out, no, she's actually kind of good. Basically the series is about a group of teenagers that have different like power, not powers, talents that help them solve crimes, basically. They're like 17, 18 year olds, whatever, are living in this house. Let's just say they get further into the action than they were supposed to. They're trying to catch serial killers. On each chapter or like most chapters, there's this section where it says you and that's basically a tiny page of the serial killer's perspective and throughout the book you can kind of try and guess who the serial killer is and the same goes for each of these books. Each book has like a new killer or whatever and you have to find out who it is. It is so fun. First book I gave a 4.5. The second book I believe I gave actually a 4.25 but looking back I think the second one was actually my favorite so I think I might give this a 4.5. The third book was my least favorite and I think I gave it a four stars which is still pretty good. Each book kind of has like different settings so this one is mainly just in the house that all the teenagers are staying in and stuff and then this one is in the house but also in like a cabin in the woods that kind of vibe and then this one takes place in a casino and then this one takes place in one of the main characters like childhood town they were all really good and there's actually like a tiny short story in the back of this book that i have not read yet i don't know i'm kind of scared to read this if you have read this novella and it's good please tell me because i honestly i'm kind of i don't know why i'm just kind of scared to read it I don't know. This is the perfect series to get into reading or get back into reading because they're so fast paced. Jennifer Lynn Barnes is the master of fast paced books. The next book I have is, I don't even know, again, I don't know if this is a book. It's like, a if it's a book, it's a really short book. And that is The Red Badge of Courage. I wouldn't go as far as to say I didn't like it. I mean, I didn't like it, but I feel like that's just because it wasn't at all the type of book that I would like to read. Not because like the actual writing was bad, although the writing is so old timey. I think it was about this guy who like went to war and that's 
literally all I remember. I thought it was boring, but that's because I usually read fantasy. Yeah, I just didn't like it. I don't even remember what I rated it. What I, rated it. I gave this book a three star. The funny part is I actually read this for a book club with my friends. My sister picked this book out. So thank you to my sister for making me read this book. <sighs> the next book. This book was so good. Five stars. Unwind by Neil Shusterman. Neil Shusterman is the same author who wrote Scythe, which was five stars again. It was great. This book I actually liked more than Scythe. Let me read the plot to you guys real quick. Connor, Risa, and Lev are running for their lives. The Second Civil War was fought over reproductive rights. Life is inviolable from the moment of conception until age 13. Between the ages of 13 and 18, however, parents can have their child unwound, whereby all of the child's organs are transplanted into different recipients. Yeah, recipients. So life doesn't technically end. Connor is too difficult for his parents to control. Risa, a ward of the state, is not talented enough to be kept alive. And Lev is a tithe, a child conceived and raised to be unwound. Together, they may have a chance to escape and to survive. This book was so good. Five stars, I liked it better than Scythe. Recently, I think I actually heard a clockwork reader talking about this book and she said she did not like it. And I was like, what? I did not agree with anything she said, basically. There are no words, just go read this book. <laughs> okay, so the next book I read, it's a little bit boring. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. I did read this for school, so didn't necessarily read this for fun, but it was actually really good. It was not boring. I liked the pacing, I guess. I feel kind of weird saying that for a type of book like this. I guess if you want to try and be more productive or effective, I would highly recommend reading this. So technically the last book I read so far this year was Wild Card, but since I already talked about that, this is the last book that I have read this year. Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. Let's chat real quick. I'm a Christian, if you don't know. I loved this book so much so that immediately after I finished reading it, I actually started rereading it so I could annotate it. It is so good. If you want to read a very good, a very smartly put in, smartly put in, wow, maybe I need to go to school. Okay, no, okay, that was actually embarrassing. If you want to read a book that's very, very intellectual and has really good points about life in general and good and evil and morality and stuff like that then you should read this book because not only is it really well thought out and well put but it's actually really easy to understand highly recommend this book let me read you like one quote from it let's see i tabbed let me see what i tabbed progress means not just changing but changing for the better if no set of moral ideas were truer or better than any other there would be no sense in preferring civilized morality to savage morality or christian morality to nazi morality and then the other one that i tabbed is if a man asked what was the point of playing football it would not be much good saying in order to score goals for trying to score goals is the game itself not the reason for the game and you would really only be saying that football was football which is true, but not worth saying. I really like that one. And this one is, if you have taken a wrong turning, then to go forward does not get you any nearer. If you were on the wrong road, progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. And in that case, the man who turns back soonest is the most progressive man. Yep, go read this. I believe that was all of the books. Guys, I need, I just, I need to start finishing books and not starting them. Those are all the books that I've read so far this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really curious as to how many books you guys have read so far this year. So definitely be sure to tell me in the comments as well as like what you've been reading and if I should read them too, if you have any recommendations. But yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my future videos. Bye. Bye. Bye.